It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160 online at WCCSradio.com. And our conversation with Casey Newell and Jennifer Quilliam. We're talking about flag football in Indiana. It's brought to you by Marcus and Mack. Voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Ladies, as I said to you earlier, uh, it appears none of you were drafted into the NFL <laughs> last week. Yeah, it, wait, for the, wait for the press release. It's coming out. I, I note the bitterness. <laughs> <laughs> the press release is coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just wait. Yeah, a little free agency going on there, huh? <laughs> Casey, this is how many years for Indiana flag football? This, this is our ninth season. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So we started in 2015. And and you've been there all nine years. Mm-hmm. Jennifer, yeah. what about you? I've been yeah, there too. she's... Nine years for you, yep. too? She's an OG. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So so break down Casey for me, Jennifer. Tell me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are the strengths? <laughs> she controls it all. <laughs> <laughs> we just do her bidding. <laughs> <laughs> it works well that way. Yeah, she yeah. uh we couldn't have the league without her. I mean yeah. she she runs the show. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Break down Jennifer's strength <laughs> for me, Casey. She's a great yeah. sidekick. Yeah. Yes. She does the job. Yes. Right? Picks up yeah. where we need help and Organizes a lot of fun events. Well, this has been a a few years then, uh, nine years uh, for for this particular enterprise. uh, And uh, you run adults? Yep, we Um, have an adult league, 18 and up women's. uh And we have a youth league, 4 to 14. 4 to 14. Yep. Yeah. And, and, um, And... People can still get in on this? For yeah, this right year? now our uh, women's league is starting on May 25th. So we are going to open up some sub spots, but there are not any spots right now maybe Mm -hmm. maybe two if some people you know you get some injuries last minute injuries last minute pregnancies (laughs) knock people out of the see the Steelers never have that yeah we have that problem a lot um (laughs) directions I did not expect this conversation to go um so so that must mean it's pretty darn popular I mean uh, people want to play yeah. yeah, yeah, I would say 90% of people sign back up again. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so we keep our newbies to maybe 20 a year to yeah. handle new people yeah. coming uh, in. That's terrific stuff. Now, you do have a, an event coming up, too, right? Uh, that is. We uh, have, yeah, a, we have a, a number of events come up. Yeah, we, yeah, we have. I'll uh, talk about our bingo night. Mm-hmm. We're doing a bingo night at Disobedient Spirits on May 19th. Um, starts at, I think the doors open at 6 p.m. I think you can, or the doors open at 5.30. It starts at 6 um, all the teams are making a basket to raffle off. Mm-hmm. Um, there'll be other raffles there as well, but um, this is the first time we've done this, so we're hoping for a big turnout. And we had a lot of um, expenses went up, the cost of insurance and the cost of the field paint went up. So we're trying to, yeah, you know, get some extra income to cover all that. Well, sure, that yeah. makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, it, this this is uh, you know when you you think about it, uh, you've been playing football all these years. Um, uh, it does take a, a few bucks in order to make this happen, yeah. huh? And insurance is a big concern. Insurance is a big concern, and uh, for us, painting the fields is really important. So mm-hmm. uh, then we don't have to set up so much on the day because we have five fields painted, uh-huh. and we play at the same time. Uh huh. So we used to set up cones and take us a couple hours, but yeah, we've upgraded to paint. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, you, where do you play? We play at Mac Park. At Mac Park. Yeah, in the fairground area, like mm-hmm. in the in the area between the, the track. Mm-hmm. So we set up all five fields and play every Thursday at 7. Every Thursday night. Yes. So the season gets underway when? The 25th of May. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and lasts for how long? How many games do you play? We play 11 games, and then our championship game is on August the 12th. It's a Saturday. Mm-hmm. So we have five games back-to-back on that day. Uh, we have um, a beer garden from Noble Sun Brewing Company, a sponsor, uh, we'll have food from Hot Dog John's and Clem's Barbecue, and they also sponsor mm-hmm. Bouncy House. What else? Music. It's a, yeah, music. Yeah. A it's DJ. just a fun day. It's, it's a yeah, very yeah. fun day. Yeah, people yeah. bring their chairs and their tents and just camp out and eat hot dogs and drink beer all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. And, and they get to watch some. some and they great get to football. watch some flag football. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the game itself, break it down for me. How does uh, how many people on a team? How does it work? What's the format? We have about 10 to ten to 13 people on a team. Mm-hmm. Uh, we play six on six this year. Mm-hmm. We have 10 teams. We have about 120 women. 
uh, we all play at once on Thursday night. So, um, and then we're going to, this year we've combined everybody back up again. We used to have the more athletic um, women on one division, but we've combined the divisions this year. Mm -hmm. So as the year goes on, it's going to like divide into like the lower and the higher and Oh yeah. 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 You get tiered to play. Yeah, exactly. Bracket going by the end. Yeah. Yeah. You get first division and second division. Uh Yeah. 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 We're solid in the second division. (laughs) (laughs) You're you're solid second division. Yeah. Yeah. We we battle for second and third. Top tier of the second division. (laughs) Yeah. I like to stay in the middle of bottom. Yeah. (laughs) The expectations aren't as high then, huh? No. 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 Yeah. It, it's obvious you have a ton of fun with it, though, don't we you? We do. Okay. We have a lot of fun. Um, all the women in the league really help out a lot. So um, we all pitch in. We all have our jobs. Every every week a different team paints the field, yeah. and mm-hmm. we all just show up and yeah, and help you help the, the whole thing run because it's, yeah. it's a big enterprise. Yeah. So if people want to take part, what was the first fundraiser you said? The Bingo Night. Bingo Night. At Disobedient people, Spirits on May 19th. They got to sign up ahead of time? Tickets online. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You can go online and find the tickets. Okay. Yeah. Is it the website I'm looking at, IndianaWomensFlagFootball.com? I can put it on there. It's on our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, okay. the, it's actually being run by Dairy Area Philanthropy. Uh-huh. They're teaming with uh, Disobedient Spirits because we have a player that um, works at Disobedient Spirits, and she suggested – organizing this event we said go right. for it yeah so uh we haven't had to do too much with it we're just going to show up and play some bingo yeah, yeah. there yeah. you go there you go is it competitive as a football game we'll uh, see, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> this, is, this is our first bingo event <laughs> yeah uh the other thing we have coming up is uh, we have a shirts event every year where we get together and everybody picks up their shirts for the season mm-hmm. um and the last few years it's been timed with a beer release from levity brewing company uh-huh. um and that some of those proceeds come to us. It was Flag Nabber. And this year we teamed up with our other sponsor, Noblestein Brewing Company, and they're brewing us a hard seltzer, mm-hmm. a nice pull. So it's peach ginger. Yeah. It'll be available May 19th. You've got the shirts on. I have a nice you? pull shirt. <laughs> it's nice what you say shirt. when you, you know, yeah. congratulate somebody for a nice You hear that tackle. a lot on the, yeah. on the field. Yeah. So we made a shirt that says it. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's the lingo? Uh-huh. You've, yeah. got, you've got specific... It is. Pride football lingo? We do. The next one is, what down is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, are we on defense? Yeah. <laughs> the t-shirts I can see are going to get bigger and bigger. They or are, or yeah. the printing's going to get smaller or smaller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man, this, this just sounds like so much fun. Uh, you get big crowds? People come to watch? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have, I mean, each field has its own fan fan base, all the teams. Uh-huh. And, uh, when we do championship day, we have a pretty big crowd for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Everybody brings their kids. And... Two of you on the same team? No. no. Oh, no? Mm-mm. No? No. So. Oh. <laughs> it works better that way. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer when, when, when you say that she does everything, um, uh, you, tell me about her as a football player. Oh. <laughs> She's tough. Yeah. Uh-huh. She, yeah, she um, has broken many fingers because she doesn't mess around. Mm-hmm. Her own or <laughs> my <others>? own? <laughs> yeah, it's true. That happens every year. Uh, I yes, I, <laughs> yeah. It's the same one. You walk around with it. fingers yeah. all, all always taped. Yeah. I have all the braces still uh-huh. in my house. I can just reuse them. <laughs> she's a good sport, though. She likes to have fun, but she's competitive. Uh huh. So, uh huh. You know. Uh huh. And you are are I'm 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 sure that you have. A blast at this too. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yeah. I love my team and uh, playing, and yeah, so it's a good time. Yeah, it's a good time. All right. So, what else do people need to know? Uh, youth league registration is open okay. uh, right now, so it's start open on Monday, mm-hmm. and it'll be open through August seventh. It's thirty five dollars. Any girl ages four to fourteen can play. We have three mm-hmm. divisions: Pee Wee, Youth, and Junior High. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year we had ninety five girls, and I wow. expect it to be. The same or more this year. So it's so. open through August. Uh, does that mean you play after August? Yes, we play. What happens is we our adult league plays pr- by our, prior to the fair, and then the fair happens, okay. and then we come back and play youth league after the fair. Is oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and um, we're not talking Indiana specifically. People can play from. Yeah, it's from anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, we just put together the teams. Um, people, student, like the girls get rotated around, but mostly they're staying the same teams. A lot of the girls have been there since the beginning, um, uh-huh. from like 2018 on. So mm-hmm. they're now. That's why we expanded into junior high, to let them keep playing. 
Uh, we also have a tournament coming up for junior high and high school girls in okay. October. Um, so we'll start to pull in those girls that have graduated from junior high and still want to play. Mm-hmm. And all the coaches on our youth league are are adult players. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So they all, you know, the, the women volunteer after the season's over to coach the little girls. No, the ins and outs. Yeah. Yes. A flag football. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Anything else? That's about it. We're just, uh, we've got a lot of, we try to start the season off with a bang, a couple of big events, and then we'll end yeah. the season with a big party at the field. Terrific right. stuff. Terrific stuff. All right, ladies, thank you so much for coming in to tell us about it. Thank you for having us. And, yep. and starting on what date can people start showing up at Mac Park on Thursdays to watch you play? Thursday, May 25th. May 25th. Yes, at 7 p.m. We'll Bring be there. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. Bring a chair. <laughs> Pick a field. There'll be a map. It's always a map. Yeah. Oh, really? Tell you where uh-huh. everyone's playing. Yep. Tell you where everybody's oh, cool. playing. Cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM AM 1160. Please no ACL tears, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've had one or two of those. No, either. I don't try that hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Indiana in the morning on WCCS. Hey, CBS Sports coming up in a couple of moments. Boomer, I'm sure, is going to be talking about just this topic. Uh, and uh, then we will visit to you from the WCCS newsroom. Jake will be stopping by. Markets will be opening up in another seven minutes. Let's get to this morning's Money Matters report. And Hillary Barsky is coming up with Saving You Money.